Hello and welcome back to Data News of the Week, the video where we summarise all the different news stories that involve data that I couldn't squeeze into other videos. First and foremost, uh, PS5 related news. We're going to talk about that heatsink. A number of you have got in touch about this and the only reason I've not made a video about it yet is I'm looking forward to getting one. I'm of course talking about Sabrent's own new PS5 specific heatsink. A number of you that have been installing SSDs inside your PS5 system, part of that beta that's rolling out at the moment, my god where is the full firmware release? And a number of you have had to make the tough choice between installing an SSD with a large proprietary heatsink and not being able to use the top cover or going for a much smaller heatsink so you can use that PS5 cover there on the top. And a number of you know in your heart of hearts that you should really have that bay at least closed up in one shape or form. But the best heatsinks are always chunkier because they take advantage of kind of ranged airing and directional airflow control internally. So, so Brent have kind of addressed this by releasing a heatsink for their SSD series on its own that you can use with other heatsinks as well that occupies the entire bay. It slots in neatly it fits the entire cavity and dare I say it it's actually pretty easy on the eyes and again we will be looking at this very very soon and hopefully this SSD heatsink will resolve the big conflict right now between whether you should have that cover on or off next up it's been hanging around in the wings for ages but finally we are seeing an official release date for windows 11 that's right we've been waiting for a while we've seen it floating around in betas and trials and alphas and stuff like that knocking around we've even done a few vm videos here on the channel but now it looks like october 5th 2021 is when windows 11 is going to be ready for release and everyone can get hold of it it's the ability to upgrade if you like from an existing windows 10 platform or you can go ahead and get windows 11 directly from the microsoft platform Any Think that's got Windows pre-installed right now, like your laptops in your local IT shop, uh, shop should have Windows 11 on board. And let's face it, I know a number of us think Windows 10 is relatively new. If you were to put a gun to someone's head, which you shouldn't, and ask them how long has Windows 10 been around, they'd probably say three or four years. It actually came out in 2015. So more than six years ago, Windows 10 has been around, more than half a decade. So again, I think it is well, well about time that we see Windows 11 in a full release. And of course, we will be playing with it in even further VM fashion here on the channel very, very soon. Next up, all indications seem to be pointing that QNAP are going to be fully releasing the latest version of their software, QTS5, exceptionally soon. I would say at least, if not within the next week, then definitely before the end of September. We've seen lots of changes happening online there in the background. I'm getting alerts all over the place. And although we have already looked at the beta in a number of videos already previously and looked at the design and some of the features and the security updates, we are going to do a full review on it, of course, when it lands. But for those who aren't aware that already utilize QNAP NAS systems. QTS is that NAS operating system, the kind of software graphical user interface that you use via your browser, which has all of those applications that you can install. And QTS5 has got um, kernel um, Linux kernel improvements there. It's got SSD caching improvements as well, which again means that it isn't just going to apply to the QUTS users, the ones that are using ZFS. EXT4 users are going to be feeling it as well. And of course, there's going to be the security improvements and lots of stuff there with WireGuard VPN and stuff like that. So we are looking forward to doing our full review, a real detailed one I might add, on QTS5 very, very soon. And finally, LT09 has been formally introduced there. Again, we have known about LT09 for a long time. Indeed, we know our way all the way up to LT012, technically, on their roadmap there. But the generation 9 of LTO that's going to be arriving um, in these cartridges that can support 18 terabytes per cartridge of uncompressed data, but with compression there, up to 45 terabytes per cartridge, it has really maximized the idea of cold storage there. Now, for those that aren't aware, the LTO tapes are basically the sort of cartridge that will last forever. The idea is that you've got hard drives and you've got SSDs and you've got your NAS and you've got your cloud and your data flying around and that's your kind of cold, uh, your warm data or your hot data, but there's always going to be data that you want to keep indefinitely and that is data that you may not be accessing hardly at all but it's data that has to exist and this is your cold storage your archival and this is where tapes come in they store incredible amounts of data and lto9 arriving on the scene here has got a lot of people excited now the uh, transfer speed of uncompressed data has been reported at 400 megabytes per second and at compressed data a transfer speed of one gigabyte 
per second, which again, when you're dealing with this level of storage, whether you're using a standalone LTO one disc injection system or a whole, um, you know, a cab system there that's got all of the LTOs going in, this is an enormous jump up from predecessors there. It's also worth highlighting that it will support not only Worm, uh, write once, read many, but other later on uh, um, configurations of these drives for people to be able to take advantage of and ultimately have the best three-tier hot, warm, cold storage solution. And LTO 9, although it isn't technically available to buy right this second, Orders can be placed and hardware is being developed as we speak in there. But this has been Data News of the Week. Thank you so much for watching. And again, click like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to learn more. Click the bell to be notified every week. And I'll see you at the next video.